Yo, what's going on? ET with your boy Light back to another YouTube video. And in today's video, we're finally getting around to doing the Peacemaker review. So yeah, uh, fine. Uh, I don't know when you guys are going to be seeing this, but Peacemaker in, in current time right now, when I'm recording this, Peacemaker just wrapped up and just finished. Now, I want to say this before the video starts. Again, I, I'm not sure when this is coming out, so just a quick warning. There will be spoilers for Peacemaker. Um, as well as, um, yeah, um, weekly, weekly, uh, episode reviews. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore. I think I'm more so just going to do a whole review or something. I just find it more fun. Maybe, uh, may, maybe there might be an exception one time or something, but right now I'm sticking to these more, these more, um, oh, well, geez, uh, just whole series reviews instead so yeah anyways um we got peacemaker episode or sorry peacemaker season one so yeah anyways let's get into it so yeah uh and also i'm following a bit of a new format for my re uh reviews and stuff i'm gonna open up with like an introduction for example like right now and then i'm gonna go into different categories and just rank them and whatever give them a rating so um firstly i want to get into the characters of the show I really liked Peacemaker. I, I thought P, uh, Peacemaker was a really well-written, uh, really interesting show. Had a lot of good character development, very good stuff. Uh, and you see, you know, James Gunn, he wrote it. Same person who did The Suicide Squad and Gardens 2, 1, 1 and 2, sorry. And we'll be doing 3 as well later on. And, um... Yeah, I, I think he's brilliant. I think he should do some more stuff with DC as, as well as doing more stuff in general. I think he's a pretty good writer. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. Let's, let's get into characters. So, first of all, character-wise, I thought every character, uh, or maybe with the exception of one or two characters, were all pretty written pretty well. Uh, I really liked how James Gunn really focused on all these characters instead of just putting all the focus on Peacemaker. Because that's what he could have done. He could have been like, let's put all the sad moments to Peacemaker and maybe make it like just like a soul Peacemaker show. That's literally what he could have done. He could, and I mean, it still would have been a pretty good show because it would have still had that character development. But then again, when he... Uh, th this is my personal favorite thing about James Gunn. He puts writing towards all of the characters, not just one. Um, for example, I thought it was pretty interesting. Obviously, we didn't get origin stories for everybody, but we did get at least some... Uh... Sorry, I'm yawning. Sorry about that. Um, we got like some type of information for each character and some heartfelt moments, I gotta say. Uh... Hardcore was a, was uh he actually felt for her at the end, uh, and plus during the series she had some pretty good scenes. And then Economos, uh, that last scene was pretty good with him. Um, Adebayo, um, or Adebayo, sorry. Uh, I thought she was she was a well-rounded character. Uh, Mern was definitely an interesting character. I thought he was pretty interesting. And then of course we got the like the the show stealer of sorts. Uh, Vigilante, he he was really fun to watch, and I actually really enjoyed watching him and stuff. Uh, I thought Vigilante was is was uh, really interesting, and honestly, I hope Vigilante gets some sort of origin story or something like that because it could be really cool, especially if they stay towards the comics. That could be really fun, uh, not fun, but really interesting. Um, yeah. I'm just genuinely curious to see what like what made Vigilante who he is. So that's interesting. I and honestly, I, I honestly rank character wise probably a nine out of ten. Uh just one thing I, I kinda disliked was Judo Master. I don't know what his purpose in the show was. It was literally so pointless. Um like, he almost died, like, a few times. Like, it just feels like they're just ho holding on to the character for some reason. Which I don't know why. But hopefully it's season two. Because it is getting a season two. I forgot to say that as well. It'll be season two. Um, 
hopefully in season two he gets some sort of role or something because this, this in this season it kind of sucked. I can't have a lie. Well, it wasn't the greatest Judah Master, but everyone else is pretty good. So yeah, nine out of ten. Oh, and sorry, I even forgot his father. I, I forgot Peacemaker's father. I don't know how I forget Peacemaker's father, but yeah, though he's a very evil man, he still had um an interesting role in the story and stuff. And uh, yeah, anyways, nine out of ten for the characters. Uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be acting. Actually, I thought acting was pretty good. Uh, actually, I really liked uh, John Cena as Peacemaker. Now, if you know John Cena, you know he's from WWE. You know he's a, he was a wrestler. And a lot of people, when John Cena originally started acting, were like, "How the hell is John Cena gonna act like this? This is stupid." And honestly, I, I didn't say it was stupid. I wasn't in that same boat. But I was in the more boat like, uh, this is very questionable. Questionable. Like, can he do the good work? Like, can he do some good work with this? And uh, we got our answer to our question. I, I thought he played Peacemaker awesome. Like, now, right now, if I were ever to read a Peacemaker comic or something, I would never... I would always think of John Cena in that role. Like, that's how you know they're good for the role. And then, of course, Vigilante. Freddy Shroma, he, he was actually really good as um, as uh, Vigilante. I thought he did a pretty good job. I was, cur- I was curious because I know he got recasted, like, mid-production or something. I'm genuinely curious to see what, what the other take on him was. Actually, I have something to say with that later on in the video. Uh, and all the other characters are pretty good. So for acting wise, I would say I give it a nine out of ten too. Uh, in terms of writing, uh, I thought this was very brilliantly written. A uh, written, sorry. Uh, James Gunn writes really well. Uh, as you can see, he's a very good writer. Uh, something I actually really like about James Gunn is again he, he's a very good writer. Dialogue was pretty good. Uh, yeah, dialogue was pretty good for the most part. Uh, also, the character development for all these characters were pretty good. In the end, like, personally, up to episode maybe six, I wasn't sure about this team. I was like, oh, this is a this is a pretty trash team. And then you get to episode eight, and you're just like, you feel for them. You feel you want them to survive. You were sad when I was sad when Mern died in episode seven, but you want the team to survive. Uh, yeah, I, know, I forgot to talk about Eagly too. He, he that that was a really good, nice touch to it. I felt like Eagly was was a really fun character and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, but there there was just one thing, and that's associated with um the v- vigilantes recasting. Is I've noticed you could very much notice it. I'm sorry if I, I ruined the show a little bit, but um. You can notice a lot where where they reshot things and stuff. You could see, for example, like when Vigilante, especially when it's a close up of his face, ah, uh, there's no other characters in the shot. Like it would it would switch from like Peacemaker to Vigilante and stuff like that. And I, I found that a little weird at times, but it was all right. And then it was at the end. Now at the end, I actually think they intended Vigilante they intended maybe for vigilante to die because it actually it very much so looked like he was dead it, he literally was like oh crap and then he just fell over and looked like he died so I, i'm not sure about that if that was on purpose or what what the point of that was but i mean it looked like he was dead at that moment i was like wow they kill out they were gonna kill off vigilante and then um i saw him back and i was just like what the hell uh so that's that, that's like that's one thing with that I, I'm not really sure about, but I mean, writing was pretty good. I, I give it an eight out of ten. Uh, and then we go into more like pacing slash episode, uh, how it does that as episodes. Now, in my opinion, it goes definitely down. I mean, sorry, from down to up uh, throughout all the episodes. It just gets better and better, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it honestly just gets better and better in my opinion. I think it was it this is really what these superhero or anti-hero or villain TV show should always have been. This felt like a full-on movie, like an 8-hour movie. 
I really felt that and I just made it really good in that aspect. It just felt like one cohesive story and that's what I really liked about it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it just a really, really fun ride as well. It, was, it had a lot of jokes and stuff. That was pretty good. So I would say this is like one of the best paced shows. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, pacing was pretty good. It's very fast paced, so it's very good. In my opinion, it moves at the perfect pace. So I would honestly give pacing slash episodes like 10. 10 out of 10. It, it was really good. And then our final category is the action. Again, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but Peacemaker is not for the faint of heart. Very violent, very inappropriate. Um, do not watch this if you're not supposed to. I guess you could say. I'm not gonna say if you don't watch it on if you're uh, if you're under the age of 18 because there's people that watch it still. Uh, but I would say don't watch it if you're faint of heart with violence, uh, especially in certain scenes. Uh, well, similar in the, the, the eighth episode, we ended up seeing that there was a lot of gore and stuff like that, but I mean, it was pretty fitting, like, Peacemaker is not no, like, PG-13 character of sorts, like, he's a very rated R character, especially Vigilante, Vigilante literally goes around killing people, so, what are you gonna expect, and of course, he has, like, a sword and stuff, so, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not, well, actually, it's super violent, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's completely not for the fate of art. Like, I, I'm pretty good with that kind of stuff. I, it's not, it doesn't bother me too much. But usually, like, maybe my stomach might turn or something when, when I watch, like, very gory stuff. But this didn't have that. I, I thought it was, it, it, it was, like, good, uh, well placed and stuff. So it wasn't like, why is this guy getting his head cut off for no reason? Like, it wasn't like over, uh, super unnecessary or something it was mostly necessary so that's definitely something i actually really liked about that uh and plus the action was pretty good i mean i just felt like hyped up when i saw them fight and stuff it was really fun uh, i like the hardcore fight scenes that was pretty good uh this was peacemakers fight scenes there's one thing i kind of wish maybe if we got a little bit more peacemaker fight scenes i know he's trying to not kill too much but i mean it's still super fun when when you see um him literally show up and uh, start fighting people like I thought that was pretty fun but I mean episode 7 had a lot more fighting and stuff so I, I didn't enjoy episode 7 for that reason as well but I mean that that's pretty much it though uh, in terms of rating for this show easy 9 out of 10 it is, it is a very good show uh, barely anything to improve really I would say uh, actually I might wa rewatch the whole show again because right now I, I'm essentially operating off of uh, watching it bi-weekly and stuff. Uh, but I might re-watch the whole show again. And maybe do a, uh, a re-review in a couple of weeks or something. Uh, just just to see if my opinion might change on something or something. But I mean, for the most part, this opinion does stick. I did really enjoy it. I thought it was pretty good. Easy 9 out of 10. But anyways, that's pretty much it though. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.